Hello and welcome to another anime paint night. My name is Corey. This month we are doing mini Pokemon paintings. So if you signed up for the kit, you will get all the materials. You will get some small pieces of watercolor paper, watercolor set, uh, some reference images, and some gold cardstock that we will use as the frames for our images. So like in the Pokemon games, I'm giving you the choice of what Pokemon to draw. I uh, included some references, images of we have Pikachu uh, with a little Santa hat, and we have the three new Pokemon starters for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, there's Fue Coco, Quaxley, and Sprigatito. So uh, it's up to you which ones of those you want to do. Um, if you want, you could squeeze all four of them onto one, um, but, uh, or you could just do two of the same Pokemon. Really, it's up to you. Or you could do a completely different Pokemon. There is, I believe, like, over 800 of them, so, like, there's a lot to pick from. But, uh, of the reference images, there's just the four. Um, and I wound up picking Pikachu and Fue Coco, because I think Fue Coco Fue Coco is adorable. But yeah, basically, uh, I just took to drawing them, um, sketching them out on the paper first. Uh, with Fue Coco, I, I think he's, of the, the three new starters, I feel like he's probably... Well, they're, they're all, I feel like they're all equally simple in their own way to draw. Um, Fue Coco is just um, sort of a lot of round shapes for the most part. Um, so I usually like, break him up uh, sort of like the bean-shaped body, or since he's a pepper, it's more of a pepper-shaped body. Um, and then for the face, it's kind of a like a heart shape, sort of cut out, um, three triangles for the little teeth little triangle bits for the stems coming out of his head and the, the square on his chest that kind of looks like a piece of cheese that's just stuck up there. But um, he's pretty easy. And also with Pikachu, um, it's another simple base shape of like kind of a, a bean shape then some uh, ovals for the arms, um, some elongated triangles for the ears, uh, well, the one ear, because we're also putting a little Santa hat on him, but, yeah, so basically just, uh, whenever you're sketching, usually you try and break the image down into shapes, um, and that will make it, like, easier to, like, draw, like, the, the whole image, at least in my opinion. But yeah, after... I got the sketches up, then I moved on to the coloring. And then once the coloring is done, uh, I'm leaving them to dry. As always with watercolor, um, requires a little bit of patience. And with different colors, usually you want to wait in between uh, when drawing them next to each other um, because you don't want the colors to bleed into each other and then mix because then you'll wind up with some muddy colors. So, especially with using black, uh, uh, as you can see, I, with Pikachu, uh, I did go a little too fast. Uh, so when putting in like the little smaller details like the eyes and the nose, uh, some of the black tended to bleed out into the yellow and uh, it was not a uh, pretty sight, but watercolor is slightly forgiving because uh, you just take a paper towel, dab the wet color away, and then just start over again. Um, and as you'll see, um, I did a lot of dabbing uh, throughout the video. <laughs> but yeah, once you have both images colored and you're happy with them and they've dried completely, then you're going to take the gold cardstock. Um, I've 
already like pre-cut some little circles into it so you can see your image through it. Um, you're going to take the glue stick, put some glue on the back of the cardstock, and then stick them on top of the images. Uh, and then you'll have these nice little framed Pokemon images. So I hope you enjoyed this month's Anime Paint Night and it came out well. Feel free to share your finished result on our social media pages if you want. As always, you can find more episodes of Anime Paint Night in the playlist either on YouTube or Facebook. And you can learn more about other programs that the library does at stuffofpubliclibrary.com. When you go to the calendar, we have a bunch of in-person and virtual programming going on. Um, so definitely check it all out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.